Hey there, so today I just wanted to review this little knife here, the PH2N Fred slash, uh, what is it, Old Henry, Uncle Henry. So, there's one that's very similar to this, the other one is, so it doesn't have these scales and it's a little bit bigger I think, but what I wanted was a small fixed blade everyday carry knife that I could sheath. So what I liked with this one was, you know, the finger troil here, um, uh, I mean the, the first one there, and then I like how there's a little one for the pinky back there. It came on a nice leather uh, lanyard, didn't need that at all, I wanted the E to see it. And so, you know, blade shape's fine, uh, good enough steel. The thing is pretty thick, you know, sturdy and everything, and so what I was wanting to do is just, you know, carry this around on on my hip, either in the sheath that it came with, which I did for a little while, and what I don't like about the sheath that it came in is this is just so dang fat right here. When I, you know, put that on my belt, then this just sticks out, you know, from me even more than what this width is here. So it's, that's what I don't like, is that because of this loop that it doesn't remain close to my body. So if I had um, a different sheath that didn't have this clip on it either, because what I, I always don't like that because you're like cutting this thing up, sliding it in and out whether you want to or not, it's just going to happen, so I don't really like that being there. Um, it just adds like a extra thing you got to like bump into when you're sliding the knife in. I'd like a longer one that comes up deeper, which I can just, there's no snap or anything, I can just slide it in and slide it out. So I'm going to try to make one of those just so that it carries a little bit better and it's a little more compact, I think. It'll be a little bit not so bulky and sticking out like that. And, you know, this was sharp, or not sharp, but, um, you know, I had to file that down because that was, I mean, you can see it was, it was scuffing up the sheath there, which kind of stinks, but that's fine. It was uh, pretty cheap, and I just wanted to try carrying something that was, you know, good in the hand and a uh, fixed blade instead of a, a, you know, a flipping knife, a folding knife. So, what I don't like is the ratio. The blade to handle ratio. Yes, it's very comfortable and a good size in the hand, but the blade is kind of a little too short for what the handle is. I, I wouldn't mind the handle being like a quarter of an inch shorter, like take this and shorten it by a quarter of an inch and then give that quarter of an inch to the blade. That would be better for me, I guess. Um, but I may, I don't know, I may work at filing that down there just to get a little more blade on it. I think it'd look a little nicer too, but that's changing a lot of what it is. But the brass is pretty nice. I do like brass so seeing that is nice um, but I mean it's cheap so the fit and finish isn't all that great so there's kinda like these burrs up here I try to file down of the scales going lower than the brass um, bolster maybe is what it is brass um, bit there but other than that it's um, it's a good size knife for the price it's pretty good I was looking at numerous other fixed blade knives and it was tricky to make my decision but this one I felt was clean and kind of consistent and it wasn't anything super weird. Um, but I'll definitely see about trying to make a sheath for this. I already kind of have, you know, paper plans put out. I just don't have my um, leather making tools with me at the time. So I, I got to wait until I get those back. But, I mean, for the price you get, you get a pretty good sheath. You know, it's leather and everything. I just, I just don't like this design of the leather sheath is all. Um, but, you know, it's a great little knife. I use it a bunch of times. Pretty sharp. 
it does what I need to do. The nice sized handle is good because you know you can just get a real good grip on it versus the other way around. It'd be potentially a little more dangerous, I guess. But um, pretty nice knife. Um, again, it's down to preference, but I can put in uh, pictures of the other knives I was looking at until I made this decision to get this one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.